Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here, ready to continue on playing through the British campaign and Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. We've got a few decisions to make before venturing out on our next mission. And uh, the first and foremost decision that we need to make is about any particular upgrades that we want to make. Now, uh, there don't appear to be any better available guns than the ones I already have now. Uh, unlike the ship that I got to take over in the last mission, uh, I'm going to be dealing with a 7th rate brig, the HMS Ferret, as my primary ship going forward, So, uh, at least for now. Uh, not a great ship, but it's what I've got available. I do have upgrades available, uh, and I've got to make some decisions about that. Uh, I like Hardened Hull, which gives me 10% armor hit points, 10% to structure, but I lose 10% capacity. So I think we're going to go with that. Uh, it costs 903 to do that upgrade, so we've gone ahead and done that. You can see speed and acceleration here. If I look at the other ships, like the Astarte and the Alert, uh, they don't have near... Well, actually, Astarte has got a little bit more as far as speed and acceleration, but not nearly the weight. Uh, now, Astarte's the, the biggest ship uh, out of the three, but it's very slow. And uh, it just, I don't think it's going to do the trick. So I'm assuming we'll be able to take all three of these ships into action. Uh, the Astarte is the one who has the uh, the Marine Corps on board, and it looks like we might be able to add another. I'm not sure, but uh, maybe not. It looks like that's a max. So we can, however, add soldiers to these. And we have all of our numbers as far as things go. We also have uh, available weapons, so we can look to see if there's anything we would like to upgrade those to. Uh, and it appears like we probably have a pretty decent weapon at the moment. It's got the best balance of melee, reload, and range. Uh, obviously, this one would be the best down here, but um, we don't have enough of those weapons available to make that change. So, uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and add to the number of soldiers we have, because I'm guessing since we're this mission's involving going after supplies, we're going to be doing some land-based fighting. Uh, it looks like there's not enough available weapons. So they may not even be an option. Are there any types of weapons that do have enough available? Now, nah, nothing's got more. The most we have of anything is 90 right here. So, I mean, we could switch these guys over if we drop down to 90. And then by doing that, we can add to this one. So maybe that's the way to go so that we can take more troops with us. Okay, we're going to get this unit up to 200. Uh, that puts us actually a little above max. We're going to have to go back down. What about 185? All right, now we're now we're right at the uh, the weight limit there. Uh, can we upgrade alerts guns? That's a small ship, so maybe not. Uh, it looks like we've got 12 there. Um, let's go ahead and do the same here. Oh, it's overload. We can't do that. We can't go any bigger than four pounder, so I guess we'll we'll sit tight with that. We've still got twenty six thousand dollars though. Maybe we should just buy a bigger ship. Maybe that's the thing to do here. The Muscovy. We're gonna have to change the names on some of these. In fact, uh, if you're a patron, same deal applies uh, as is the case with um, Rule the Waves Two, where you get to name a ship. So I will send out a message later today asking for your suggestions for. Uh, names for ships on this current series. We'll add that as a perk on Patreon at a certain level. Uh, and then as we're able to, we will start with the folks at the highest level and work our way down, and you'll get to name a ship. Uh, so in the meantime, I think we're going to buy ourselves another 7th rate brig. That seems like a good way to spend the money. We need a crew for that, of course. Oh, it looks like we can actually add troops to this one as well. So that might be, I don't know how many ships I'm going to be allowed to take. So we're going to have to take a look at that. Oh, we can create some new units as well. Excellent. So let's add some fusiliers here. Oh, artillery. Excellent. I know that's a supply unit. I don't think that's going to be necessary in this case. Looks like those are the only two types of units I can currently create. I haven't researched the others. Okay. Good to know. So we're going to need to assign an officer over these folks. There we go. Looks like we need the same for each of these units as well. So 
don't know how that works. Oh, here we go. We do it right here. So now we get our land officers and get a second lieutenant here. Get one there. How are we doing? We still got 11,000, so uh, doing pretty well there. Uh, I, we'll have to see when we go into the mission how many ships it allows me to take. All right, I think we're good with that. Uh, research. Sewing machine. What's Is there... I wonder if there's like a, a tree we can see where we can see what researches are going to lead to things. Um, line infantry tactics. Oh, access to skirmishers. Let's do that. I want to get some better land things. Actually, we can we can research those too. We'll hold off. No, we're going to research everything. Invented, invented, invented. Excellent. And the last thing we need to do, I probably should have done this first, uh, is to add our career points. We're going to add one to healing. That's going to give me another 5% casualties replenished after battle. These are going to add to the reward bonuses. Cash for mission rewards. Let's put two points into that. Okay. All right. I think we're set to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at the mission screen. Dinner for the Admiral. Our squadron is anchored at the mouth of San Juan River. After five days, we've had no news about the expected supply ships uh, from Kingston. New orders from the Admiral have arrived. I am to sail northwest looking for provisions. Commanding a brig after having commanded a frigate is, in battle is sobering, but my promotion is official, and this will be my first mission assignment as the ship's captain. What's this here? Okay, and I don't know what next stage does, but I, obviously we're not ready to do that yet. We're going to get 6,400 gold for this, along with six, and uh, I guess these are like prestige or reputation points. I'm not sure. All right, here we go. So this particular mission is an intercept of two ships, so we're actually not going to want to take the ones that have troops on them. We're going to take the ferret and the alert, which are our uh, sea fighting uh, uh, vessels, which... Uh, unfortunately, well, it looks like you actually have a choice. One of them has to be naval, but the other one can technically be a, a land-based ship, I guess, because we could land and take the island. There might be a, a battery on board or something, but I think in this particular case, we're going to go with both of our sea-bearing vessels, and we're going to just do our best. And we got to remember to go in and take a look at the mission before we build the uh, build the troops and the Navy in the future as I do with uh, Ultimate General Civil War. So uh, let's take a look and see. We don't have a whole, we've got two hours to do this. Walpole, so that must be, a, that's one of our ships that's been taken prisoner. So we've got to destroy Santa Rita, take the Walpole uh, in the next two hours. That's not a lot of time. So honestly, what I think I'm going to do is we're just going to come up here well, first of all, you can see, oh, I brought the wrong ship. Hold on. Let's restart that. I, I loaded the Muscovy, which is uh, a troop ship. That doesn't help me a whole lot. Okay, there we go. So we got to get up here. And you can see right away that uh, range is much better on one side than the other. That That's the effect of the wind uh, that has on, on where the ship, like the hull, how it tilts from one side to the other. So... Uh, right now, he's got the advantage with the wind because we are on his, I don't know, windward, leeward, I don't know which one's which, but we're on the side where he has longer range than, than I do. So we've got to change that. Just got to watch the time because that is not a lot of time to do this. I'm going to send alert this way. We're just going to operate separately, at least for a few minutes. See if we can maybe cause some damage to him right off the bat. Got the advantage in guns, obviously. Just range is not my friend right now. San Juan Batista is basically irrelevant to this task. Just need to get a little closer.
Already 10 minutes down. Switch to grape shot on this guy when we're nice up and close. Nice. Down 15 minutes already. I'm not liking the the shortness of the time on this one. All right, we're better off to turn this way. Guess that's not happening though. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna divide and conquer here. I'm gonna send alert to go try and deal with Walpole. Because I feel like I'm gonna run out of time to do both. And if worse comes to worst, at the uh, last minute I can send Ferret up to just try and board Santa Rita and take her out that way. Which is exactly what we're gonna do with alert. Now it's gonna give us kind of some symbols here to show us what we're up against. We need to need to get parallel. Need to try and be around, I guess around the same speed and be at the right distance to do this. There we go. I think we've got Walpole. Gonna lose a lot of men doing this, but we'll take it. All right, we're good. Walpole is surrendered. All right, now here's the tricky part. Oh, we can't take both. Oh, that's a problem. Now we're going to leave a few on board. That's okay. Now we've got to get both of those ships out of here. Go. Go away. we got to keep Ferret in between them now. This is the one problem with doing that this early. Yeah, I'm so used to... Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought's controls, these are the opposite. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's the problem with this. No, 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 I didn't want to stop movement. Should have done this with Santa Rita, but Santa Rita is not the one that is threatening to take out the alert. Bring them on in. Yeah, 
Got a helicopter flying overhead here. Not on the game, obviously. Come on. Just wonder how many troops this is going to leave me to go after Santa Rita, who is running away. You coward. I don't know if these are both absolutely necessary to winning the mission. But we're going to find out. Alright, let's take a look and see where we're at now. After the Santa Rita we go. Oh yeah, this. Oh, see, I really don't want to. I don't want to, I can't sacrifice any men. I'm feeling like we'll probably be okay to just leave San Juan Batista where it is. Because he's not going to come back around and take it. The problem now is that Santa Rita is getting away. I'm not sure I can catch it. Not in 48 minutes. So this may be a lost mission after all, if that was necessary to win the battle. We lost a gun. We lost 10 crew. Where are you going? Oh, and see, there's a, there's a land battery up here. And he knows it. He's going to the protection of that land battery. And that's a big one. Yeah, I just don't... I don't think I have time going into the wind to do this. Not in the time I have left. So, that was smart. Well done, AI. You're getting away from me to where I have no choice. I probably should have tried to board the Santa Rita first, but I just got myself in a situation where I didn't really have a choice because I had to protect the captured Walpole. Man, that just wasn't a lot of time for this mission. I don't know why it was so short. Maybe it's just trying to teach me something. I don't know. Wind is not my friend right now. Oh, San Juan Batista decided to unsurrender, did they? Yeah, that's frustrating. But it's what I had to do because I, uh, I couldn't sacrifice the crew to board them. I wonder if it'll allow me to keep going with this since I captured the Walpole. It doesn't, it's not showing red next to that, so I don't know if that makes a difference or not. Oh, we're getting awfully close to this shore battery. Listen here, San Juan Batista. This is so much more maneuverable than I am. Walpole's retreated. That's good. That's what we needed anyway. Alright, this isn't going well for me. It was a defeat. Okay, so we needed to take both. Uh, for draw conditions, you have to capture the Walpole and uh, destroy Santa Rita or eliminate enemy fleet. So what, I couldn't even win? Um, Alright, so that wasn't ideal. He had regulars on there on the island as well. So, so Horatio Nelson promoted to lieutenant. All right, so let's see where we're at moving forward. Uh, this is going to be a 
a learning process. I understand that. So I think we'll probably see some more missions open up now. So we can hit next stage, I think, which will go to the next month. It doesn't look like there are any. Oh, there is one more mission. Snakes and Powder, May 5th, 1780. Our mission's top priority is to recover the missing supplies, but our infantry is now involved in the largest battle around these parts since the conquistadors arrived from Spain. The army needed reinforcements badly. The admiral reluctantly ordered several officers and midshipmen to form troops and join the battle with, with the Spaniards. All right. So let's do that. looks like I'm not even really going to uh, get to choose what I send into this one. We're just going to probably be commanding a, a ground battle of some sort. Okay, so here we go. Snakes and Powder, again, this was one of the missions that was available to us early on with the game. Uh, so I, I've just assigned my, my ships uh, that have troops on them, assigned them in, into these spots, and I guess we'll just be using those troops from those ships is how this will work. Lead the advance guard and reconnoiter the ground ahead. The main force and rear guard will follow shortly. Got a long way to go. Your objective is to advance to the last known position of our task force. Advance cautiously. We cannot afford to lose contact with any more of our forces. Good luck, Captain. Okay. So we don't have a lot of troops here, but we do have um, our big one, that that group with 185. So we have Douglas Barrymore, John Chamberlain leading the column. They did a good job. They've even got the uh, the British flag as it was at this time correctly. Uh, you notice it's a little different than it is today. It doesn't have that uh, the red X, which I believe would represent Ireland, which was not yet part. It's not the United Kingdom. It's still Great Britain. We got a long way to march here. We'll go ahead and start speeding things up until we make contact with the enemy. I'm keeping Chamberlain out here in the open and marching Barrymore through the woods just in case we keep changing our formation. We can detach skirmishers. Oh, hello. And that's look, that looks like what he's done. He's detached some skirmishers. How many? Yeah, okay, 27 is what we get if we detach skirmishers. Oh, hello. Run! Get in front of these guys. Oh, they did get hit in the flank. Okay. That's what happens with skirmishers. They're gonna they're gonna fire and, and retreat. Let's do this, boys. All right, we already shattered one unit. Oh, this is fun. Let's leave Chamberlain out there. Uh, Chamberlain skirmishers protecting my flank. Finish those guys. All right, here's the tricky part. We need to we need to destroy these guys because otherwise they're going to harass my rear the entire time I'm trying to march toward the objective. Our main force approaches. All right, I guess we can let the main force deal with them now. Let's go ahead and reattach the skirmishers. Continue on.
Right. Main force is still arriving on the field, so... I'm assuming they're going to know what they're doing already, and I don't need to issue them any orders, but we'll, we'll keep an eye on them, make sure they stay moving. No, don't change your formation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send these two up, because I'm guessing those guys are in the woods somewhere. We'll go looking for them. And the rest can just do their thing. And we'll just have to check on, on them every so often to make sure we're giving the right orders. Okay. Long way to go. There's no timer right now on this. There probably will be once we get up to where the camp is. Oh, hello. Here they come. We should be able to shatter these guys pretty quickly. One more volley ought to do it if they allow me the chance. They're not going to, though. Oh, yeah, they are. One more. Come on. Get into range. We'll say bye-bye to you. 17 men going toe-to-toe -to -toe with British regulars. Good job, guys. Good job. What is that? That's supplies. Excellent. Hold your fire. Go grab those. Run. Although, he may be doing what the enemy likes to do on Ultimate General. Use supplies to drag me in. Yeah, that's exactly what he did, but we're going to go grab him anyway. Oh, these supplies fight back. Look at that. All right, I guess we're good here because we just eliminated that unit, so. That was probably a mistake on my part with Barrymore trying to take those supplies. It looks like it really cost me. I've lost a third of that force already. Okay. The rest of the force is making its way up. Long way to go here. But this is a good opportunity to really get some experience from my men. Alright, now we can grab those supplies. Nice. That was beautiful. Did they drop their flag? And is that something I can pick up? I don't know that it is, but that was still pretty cool. Oh, hello. So we've got a battery now, as well as a, a unit of troops there. But our main force is coming up. Let's get them moving a little quicker. We're going to need their help. i got to pull these supplies out. This is a problem here. Let's fall back. Fall back to the main force. Right here is a good spot. Hold there. Oh no, come on. No, 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 grab those.
I need these two to hold their fire. I don't, I don't know if the, they would be tempted to just start firing into the rear of these other guys or not, but I don't want to take any chances. Why are we not grabbing those supplies? Still no timer, so I'm not worried about the speed of my advance at the moment. There we go. These woods really concern me. There's just so many places a, an enemy can hide in there. Finish him. See, see if we can go up and grab this artillery. It'd be nice to have it. He's regular surrendered. Let's get them withdrawn. No, not 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 Busby. No, 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 no. Oh, nice. They just disappear when you hit withdraw. That's how we want to do that. Boom. Artillery crew shattered. Let's keep the supplies close. You can see the guys fall. That's really cool. Somebody was asking about whether or not you continue to see dead troops on the field. You do. You can see some of them there. Um, I don't know if that's something in the options that we can turn on. We're set to high on graphics right now. Show hits, show trails. And you can go, you can go to ultra. We're on high. And it seems to be running fine. And I don't have that great of a computer. But so far, I haven't had any trouble running this on high. We're getting closer to the objective. Got another unit that just surrendered. Let's get them out of there. Okay, I'm going to let this Chamberlain unit kind of hold back for, well, no, I guess that was only a 60-man unit to begin with. We definitely want to get Milne's big unit out front when we can. Uh, how about we, we go across this little piece of land here when we do this? Now, these are my troops, so I want to be cautious with them. I don't want to lose too many of them. They've done their job getting us this far. Let's go ahead and let these guys take the lead moving forward. So we're going to sit tight right there and think about how we want to play this. just have to capture the camp. I don't know if it's going to give me another objective after that. So let's go up this way. Keep an eye on our flank. We're going to send our main force right up to the edge of these woods here. We'll bring these guys around. Maybe over here. And we'll keep these in reserve. Along with the supplies. Should be getting a glimpse of what we're facing here before long. I 
wonder if he sent all his forces out to meet me and he doesn't have much left in the camp. I sure don't see anything. Yeah, it may be that easy. Okay. Ten minutes to contest it. And maybe, maybe that's all there was to it. Maybe we engaged his troops so far out from the camp that there was no fight once we got here. Find out in a couple seconds here. Oh, wait. Who are we shooting at? He showed up in my rear. It's all right, not a big deal. Just got to worry about the supplies. Let's get those out of there. Be gone, Spaniards. All right, Chamberlain, hold back. Okay, the camp was found empty. Our men should consider dead or captured. Uh, should be considered dead or captured by the Spaniards. Our scouts have reported more enemies are approaching. We are in a trap and must defend our position. Okay, the Spanish attack is imminent. We must hold the ground and repel the attackers. Our rear guard is delayed. Let's hope we have not. They have not lost their way in the bad weather and will soon arrive. God be with us. Okay. So we've got these guys way out in front here. We've got to pull the supplies in. We got to pull the whole, the whole thing in, so we can start. You know, honestly, I like being in these woods though, uh, rather than out in the open like this. I don't want to give him the open ground. So the problem is, if I do this, I'm spreading out an awful lot. I'm gonna hold Ligonier in here as a reserve, so we can plug him into any gaps that may appear. And we're going to pull Chamberlain back. Let this Chamberlain hold the ground while we do that. So now we've got to hold for an hour and a half. Alright, let's go ahead and start falling back now with them too. At least into these woods. You know what? This is an advantage I need to take. I, I need to make use of. While it's just this one unit. Just need to watch the map to see who else appears. Oh, he's pulling back now too. No, nope, he didn't. Alright, Vasquez. You stand out there in the open. Well, we shoot at you from here. It's only 64% cover, but it's better than zero. Alright, how are we doing here? This is my, my spot of concern right here. I'm really thin up here. So I think we'll actually go ahead and plug that gap. After we destroy Vasquez, we'll drop back here. What's that? Thank God our rear guard has arrived. Oh, we're in good shape then, unless he's got a massive force coming my way. More Spanish troops have arrived. We expected that. Okay, they are coming from the from that side. And he's charging right into my Marines. We can do the same. These guys are going to be the reserve.
Oh, nice. They surrendered. All right, you get out of here. Got to reform that line. Kill them all. That's right. All right, and they're gone. All right, here he comes again. Bourbon. I think these two can hold here. Right, I'm going to hold and push this guy up. I got to try to deal with this battery. Enemy spotted in the south. That's fine. I'm going to go up and try to deal with that battery. These guys can hold their own for now. No, no, maybe not. Take that battery. Your supplies there. All right, here we go. Hello. We took his artillery. We got these guys caught in the crossfire. Now let's come down and deal with Bourbon from three sides. I'm just going to bring Weston down here. Oh, that's actually a really smart move, considering. being flanked. Pelu needs to get out of here. I haven't even engaged my largest force. I'm keeping them up there though because I feel like they still may come from that side. And I don't want to be surprised by that. Bye-bye. Oh, that one actually routed. Maybe he has to be, like, out of range of the enemy before he'll disappear in that situation. Oh, boy. Hey, we can do that, too. Oh, friendly fire, be careful. Charge in there. 
More Spaniards are attacking. Of course they are. Where are they coming from this time? One of my units shattered, but that's okay. We just captured another one of his. Okay, 46 minutes to go. I'm going to pull these guys back. Oh, no, I can't. I'm getting another unit. Guys, Bourbon again. I am going to go up and grab these supplies, though. All right, I guess we can pull this unit back, or this, uh, this line back. Beautiful. Okay, I think we can speed things along now. Oh, another artillery unit. Thirty-seven minutes to go. Let's let's knock Romero out of this thing. Okay, we're gonna send Milne over here. Oh, that's cool. Did you see? I, I clicked over here, and he automatically took the road. He isn't going straight this way, as they probably would have done in Ultimate General Civil War. So that's an improvement. That's something that I have been wanting for a long time. That when you give them orders, that they would take the most, the, the, the route that makes the most sense. I gotta be careful here. We're gonna charge these guns. These aren't my troops, so I'm not too worried about casualties. tight there. I think this is the only unit we're still facing. Eighteen minutes to go. I may not get a chance at him. Let's get him. That might end the battle if he's the only unit left. There may be somebody else hiding somewhere. Oh, don't you run across the water. I got a big unit coming to deal with you. Wading in waist deep. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get the chance to finish him off. Unless he decides to fight. That's going to do it. Alright, that was a good battle for me. Makes me feel better after the last one. I feel much better on land than I do uh, in the water so far, that's for sure. Uh, so 207 casualties lost. We inflicted 347 infantry as well as 189 that were captured. Uh, we, whoa, we grabbed a nice amount of uh, weapons. And you can see what we did to all the various units and how many were lost as well. The goal was completed. So now let's look and see where we are with the campaign and what upgrades we can make. And uh, I don't want to make any decisions yet about what I'm going to do next with my force until I see what the upcoming missions are. I need to keep that in consideration with what I'm doing. Okay, so here's the situation now. We do have a, a big battle coming up at Santa Cruz, which is a land battle. Um, 
that's probably uh, obviously what we're going to be dealing with next. Oh, there is a, a water battle here as well. Well-fed sailor looks for adventures. Adventures usually end in trouble, and perhaps that is why we have such a small salary. The Admiralty takes care of us in other ways. Therefore, when ships were asked to volunteer for a reconnaissance mission, eagerly accept this assignment. Uh, our ship discovered the approaching Spanish squadron looking to intercept Got some wording issues here. Supply ships. Well, now we will show them. Uh, so I've got fifty-four thousand dollars. I've got ten uh, available troops. So not a lot there for reinforcements, uh, but we can definitely invest in allow mounting spike bayonet for next firearms. Yes, definitely. Okay, it also costs some of these points to do that. Brass ordinary guns. We're gonna as as often as possible invest in technology. Uh, we've got repair that needs done. Uh, to our ships, we'll take care of that. It wasn't too expensive. Um, Forty-eight thousand. What kind of ships are available for that? A fifth-rate Hermione class. That is a big difference between what I'm dealing with right now. HMS Old. <laughs> All right. So um, that's where we're at. I'm not going to spend anything just yet until I deal with this next land mission because obviously I don't need to spend money on vessels until I do that. But uh, let me know your thoughts. Use that comment section below, and we will see you again probably in another day or two with the next episode. Thanks for watching.